Hello, this is Mike Tobias, CEO of Unique Fire Stop Products. Welcome to our fourth edition of this factory certification training video. Most of the products you'll see on this website are made in our own factory in South Alabama. Also, on the About page, you can see how we got our start in the Fire Stop business. Our original business was cable installations. Before we get into the products, we first must know what a firewall is and then we'll show you exactly how to penetrate it and restore the hourly rating. A single sheet of 5 8 inch thick gypsum dry board is rated for a half hour. Two sheets equal one hour. Four sheets of 5 8 inch thick gypsum drywall would be rated for two hours. A cinder block wall is typically considered a two hour barrier. A three hour barrier would be cinder blocks that are poured with concrete. A cinder block wall poured with concrete and reinforced with rebar would be a four hour barrier. If you should encounter a single sheet of rock going from the floor to the deck above, it is commonly referred to as a smoke barrier and must be treated as if it were a firewall. The intent of the installer penetrating fire rated barriers is to always match the rating of the system you select with the hourly rating of the barrier. The best source of information about the rating of your firewalls are on building prints or the planning. Check with the engineer or architect to verify the hourly rating. Go to the UL Systems page of the website to confirm. Right now, I want to navigate the website for you. You can start by clicking on the products page. This has all of the products that Unique Firestop Products offers, including retrofit split sleeves, as well as new installation sleeves, the smooth and threaded Firestop, along with a membrane penetration device called the Membrane Firestop. As you scroll down the products page, you see our point of entry system for entry into buildings from outside as well as our core bore fire stop sleeve to seal abandoned core bores. As you scroll down, you see our kits, membrane fire stop kit, an intumescent fill kit, which is putty. We also have accessories like fire stop pillows, putty pads, pipe collars, intumescent caulk, as well as new installation future-proof plates and retrofit bulkhead plates for large holes. We have end caps for sealing empty sleeves temporarily, both EMT and threaded. We have a retrofit metal box as well as a box pad, a faceplate cover, and we have an automotive firewall sleeve. The first device I'd like to show you today is our retrofit split sleeve. Each of these systems has its own description page of which we're on now for the split sleeve. You can see the exploded view diagram and the three different size sleeves that we make. More importantly are all the informational links. Each description page contains valuable information such as the load chart. All of our tested systems have a maximum load and this is how you determine what size sleeve you may need as well as how many cables you can put in that sleeve. We also have done this calculation for you. You surely don't want to do it yourself. In addition to the cable load chart, you will find drawings and specs, SDS, and our UL systems. This is an installation pictorial showing you the procedure for installation of this device. Now, bring on the inspector. This is a brand new button we've just installed on these devices, which is to allow you to take this device to your inspector via email. When you fill this form out, all the information will be submitted for you in the form of an email to your inspector. It requires basic information, your inspector, your job site, what you're proposing to install, 
once you've selected it, an actual photo of that product comes up. So the inspector can visually see what you're proposing. The rating of the wall is also going to show up and you're going to fill out basic information about the construction and submit it to him for his approval. Our retrofit split sleeve is rated for up to four hours horizontally. It also goes vertically between floors for up to three hours. This retrofit device is smoke sealed and fire stopped 100% of the time with the supplied intumescent putty. As you can see, there's two threaded halves, two slotted couplings, four slotted washers, two plenum rated bushings, a package of intumescent putty, and two documentation warning labels that complete the system. This system is installed without any tools. It's entirely handmade in our facility here in South Alabama. Along the retrofit lines, we also have bulkhead plates. These plates are for large penetrations that need to be retrofitted. And as you can see, each one has slots and holes. They act as the inside washer for a series of split sleeves. So we can make these in virtually any size required to seal up a large hole. On the bulkhead plates page, if you click on the order now button, you can see where it asks for your information. The height and width of the holes, stud spacing, cable type, cable count, and your name and email. When you submit this document, it comes to us for engineering and we will submit to you a drawing and a quotation. Many people consider a membrane penetration a retrofit. If you must install cables down inside a fire rated wall, this is the device to do that. The membrane fire stop maintains the bend radius by virtue of the sleeve being at an angle to the plate. We have them in one and two inch diameters. They come with the anchors and the intumescent putty along with a documentation warning label. On the description page, there's an installation pictorial showing you the exact procedure. Moving on to our new installation sleeves. If you must penetrate a fire rated barrier that's rated for two hours or less, you're interested in our smooth fire stop. These come in one, two, and four inch diameters and can be ordered right off this page. System consists of a 12 inch length of powder coated EMT, two sliding compression couplings, two round flanges, two plenum rated bushings, intumescent putty, and a documentation warning label. Again, on the description page is all your informational links the load chart, drawings and specs, SDS, all of our UL systems. These are links to the actual documents that you would need for submittals of pre-approval to inspectors or just for your files. Again, on the description page, you'll find installation pictorials showing you the exact procedure for installation of this system. Be sure and take a digital photo after you have alphanumerically identified this particular penetration. The smooth fire stop deals with two hour penetrations. The threaded fire stop system consists of a 12 inch length of IMC conduit, two lock nuts, two round flanges, and plenum rated bushings. In addition, it has a pair of documentation labels and intumescent putty. From the description page, again, you have your cable load chart. Be advised, this threaded fire stop device on higher ratings, three and four hours, is limited to a 36% cable load. That's why we have the two different numbers on the load chart. One set of numbers is for 48% load, the other is for 36%. Be careful and look at your listing for that information. Now I'd like to show you some of our more interesting products. These are new products that you may not have ever seen before. Our point of entry is a sleeve system that we made 
for entry into a building through the outside wall or through the roof. There's an optional roof mount boot and they again come in one, two, and four inch diameters. A new and interesting device that we've just developed has been our core bore sleeve. This is for abandoned core bores that have to be sealed up and brought back to code. This is simply dropped down in the floor and stepped on. A bead of caulk goes on the inside of the top flange. The retention prongs hold this centered into the core bore. The bottom plate holds the intumescent muffin in place. Our core bore seals are made in various sizes starting from inch and a half all the way up to five and a half inches. Call the factory if you have any questions. This device can be stepped on once you've installed it. Carpet may be laid over it. Again, all the informational links are on the description page as well as assembly instructions. Now I'd like to show you some of our accessories for conventional fire stopping techniques. We have intumescent pillows. We have intumescent putty pads. We have caulk and we have pipe collars. In addition, one of our newest devices is our future-proof plates. This is for proper planning when cabling a building. As a building is being built, these are installed with various holes and sizes. They're installed in a central location where the cables will be routed. They're adhered to the wall and screwed to the wall studs. Future-proof plates are basically templates for future installs of cables. The hole need not be cut in the firewall until the cables are ready to be run. More accessories are our smooth and threaded end caps. These end caps have intumescent putty and they're secured to the end of your sleeve. This allows the sleeve to be abandoned or empty during construction or post-construction until cables are ready to be run. If for some reason you're installing sleeves and don't have the intumescent putty, you can actually take the putty out of the end cap and use it. Then the end caps can be recharged. Call the factory. We have retrofit metal box. This is an ingenious device that's used when retrofitting cable installations. This box has tabs that fold out and are installed much like the plastic boxes that are not fire rated. It can be ordered online. In combination with the retrofit metal box, we have box pads. This box pad has an adhesive back and is installed into the back of the metal box. Again, informational links are here for you. Lastly, and in unique fashion, we have an automotive fire stopper for firewalls in a race car, a classic car, or restoration. These automotive fire stoppers are available in half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch sizes. They come complete with intumescent putty and are approved by NASCAR for use in their competition. Now that we have shown you what a firewall is, and we've shown you the products to reinstore the hourly rating of that barrier, we want you to go and take the test. As you can see, you'll be issued a certificate in your name. This also qualifies you for contractor discounts and ability to buy direct from the factory. After watching the video, take the practice test. The practice test is very important. It records your answers in case you miss any on the submittal test. Take the test online, submit your answers for grading. We will be contacting you within 48 hours. And in conclusion, You'll find all your answers for this test on the website's description pages or within the articles, forms, and links. A particularly important article is the fire stopping by the numbers, located at the footer of the website. After you have completed your factory training and you have certificate in hand, you can go to the website and register as a certified installer. This registration allows your information to be saved and your discount applied at checkout. Lastly but not least, 
I wanted to let you know that we have a map of certified installers. Once your training is complete, and if you like, we will list you on our map of installers with a link to your website and your email for residual business. Thank you for taking the time and the effort to complete this training.